Shalom, shalom, daughters of Zion. Um, this is a quick video. I just wanted to touch base with you guys, let you guys know why I didn't get to upload a video showing you how to create your own head wrap. Um, this is the one and only head wrap that I created um, since I've been doing my garments. It has been, I want to say, like eight months um, since I started doing my garments, so not even a full year. I have actually no previous experience with creating Hebrew garments. The only reason that I um, started this uploading these videos was just to offer encouragement to my fellow Hebrew Israelite sisters that um, may not financially be in a situation where they can purchase expensive Hebrew garments um, online. It's way cheaper to buy your own fabric, buy your own fringes and ribbon, and uh, start creating your own garments for you and your family. So I just wanted to offer encouragement. Like I said, I have actually no previous experience with creating these garments. Uh, I just wanted to offer encouragement. So here we go. This is the head wrap that I created that you see me uh, in a picture in online and you've seen me in a video in so all I did excuse me all I did was I had a huge piece of fabric because I like to wrap my hair wrap around my head maybe two to three times so I like to have a lot of fabric to play around with and so this uh, head wrap your head wrap probably wouldn't be as as long as mine mine was a little over a hundred inches long and the width on this was probably about 25 inches and so what I did was I uh, creased a fold uh, on both sides on the top and the bottom I should say and uh, once I folded it I sealed one layer then I folded the other piece on top of that and I sealed that. Then I sealed the ends uh, last, which is an error on my part. I wanted to show you guys this so you did not create the same mistake. Um, you want to seal your ends first so you don't show the pattern of when you cut the fabric with your picking shears. So really... To fix this, I, I didn't fix it because you can't even see it anyway once you tuck your head wrap in. But um, to fix this, all I have to do is place the iron down on this fabric on the part that was sealed for about 10 seconds. And then you should be able to reopen it, uh, tuck that in, and then reseal it. So that is if you, if you, uh, you know, made that mistake or make a mistake with fabric bond, you can easily just hold your iron down on for about 10 seconds and then you can uh, readjust your fabric or like I said, you can fold, tuck it in, whatever you have to do um, to, to uh, correct uh, your head wrap. You can do that simply by um, holding the iron down for about 10 seconds. And so I tried to mimic that with my daughter's head wrap. However, the width of her head wrap uh, wasn't wide enough. So when I wrapped her hair with it, it didn't, it didn't tuck how I wanted to. So what I did was I just used the iron. I reopened the ends of the head wrap and I just sewed um, the fringes and ribbon on the entire end on both sides so that's what I did and that's how I created I ended up turning her head wrap into a shawl so like I told you previously if you make a mistake don't get discouraged get creative and that is how I ended up with a shawl instead of a head wrap shalom shalom daughters of Zion